What's up everybody, it's Mikey with PatBangers.com and today we're checking out this pack right here. It's the Sonoworks Studio Reference Free. It's a very clever combination of a measurement microphone and some measurement software and an EQ plugin that goes on the master channel of your DAW to give your acoustic environment a more flat sound and it will improve your mixing a lot. Let's check it out. All right, first things first, you can get it on the website sonoworks.com. The price is starting at $230 for the software only if you already have a measurement microphone. If you don't own one, you can get a bigger pack for $270 with a microphone. And there's also an even bigger pack that will also calibrate your headphones. So if you need that, they got you covered for each scenario. Now, what it is, it's actually really simple it comes with the measurement microphone uh, so you need the measurement microphone and with the Sonoworks software you measure your whole room um, they measure more than 20 points in your room it's actually super easy very well explained a step-by-step -step guide you can't do anything wrong while setting it up you will then save your reference curves as a profile and then later in your DAW you load up the Sonoworks plugin on your master. It's basically an EQ. You load in these um, reference curves and it boosts and lowers the EQ um, depending on these reference curves to flatten it out and give you a more flat acoustic environment in your studio. So um, yeah, that's basically how it works. Let's get started. Let's do a measurement and uh, I will then show you in Ableton how it sounds like. Probably it won't sound right for you because it's then measured to this room, but you can hear the difference and you will see. So let's get started. Please adjust amplifier volume. My voice should sound in normal conversation volume. Left speaker. Right speaker. So once you're done with your measurement, you see your final frequency response curves here for your left and right channel. And as you can see, this is everything but flat. But now we got this chart and now the Sonoworks plugin comes into play and tries to fix this. So we're going to save this profile and I call it a reference measurement one. I call go here into my Sonoworks projects folder. I save this and now we're done with the setup. We close this and I switch over to Ableton. And here on the master track, we insert the Sonoworks plugin. So I go to Sonoworks reference free, open it up, and I'm gonna load my mm -hmm. measurement, which is reference measurement one. And as you can see, now it has loaded the reference curves and the green lines here are the EQ settings that are about to fix this. And as you can see, this looks like a mirrored image of the reference curves. And this is exactly what it's doing. So um, it takes the reference curves, it mirrors it on the EQ and this evens out all the bumps and dents in the curves and tries to give you a very flat result. So I now load in a loop so you can hear the difference, but of course 
it's not gonna going to make any sense in your context you had to be in this room here so you might hear the difference with the eq without eq um but please don't think wow this sounds worse than before it's sounding better in my room because it's measured for my room so let's load up a drum loop real quick first let's play it without the plugin So as you can hear, there's some difference in the sound and I personally, I, I'm very happy with the result. It really helps me to spot problems in the mix and to fix them, especially when I compare two mixes before I used Sonarworks and after using Sonarworks, um, the Sonarworks definitely sound better. I now really can mix here in my room, in my shitty room, I have to say it again, and I take it to the car or I take it to my friend's house and the stuff sounds good. So it really improved my mixing and um, so for me personally it's worth every cent. Let me show you some more stuff here because you not only can emulate flat sound you also have some custom profiles you can choose but one thing i really like here is if you select a preset and this is here in the simulate tab you can simulate different speaker sets for example here like the ns10 or you can emulate some headphones studio headphones or here some beats by dre and when you switch them no nope, what did i do Okay, so when you switch to this preset, listen what So I, in my personal opinion, even the headphone emulations are very good and very accurate. So that's it for this time. Sonarworks reference free. I can highly recommend it. It's not cheap, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. It will improve the way you listen to your mixes and it will improve your mixing. Um, when you read on the internet in some forums, I'm not the only one who really likes it. Um, there are a lot of people already using it. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think of it. Did you bought it? How do you like it? Shoot me some comments. Come over to facebook.com slash patbangers. Let's have a chat there. And um, I hope to see you guys next time. That's it. MikePatBangers.com. Peace out.